You know I've been really fortunate in life to have some amazing experiences. The first time I stepped foot on the continent of Africa or riding camels in Alice Spring, Australia. Well today is a pretty amazing experience. The first time I've ever stayed in a $10 million house. So there are weird happenings in life that take you in weird directions. Tonight we happen to be at a friend of ours, $10 million home, that he's basically just dumped us in and said, have a good time, look around and find your way around. We don't even know anything about this place for the most part. So what do you guys say we go adventure what a $10 million home looks like? The one question that me and Lori have is how many bedrooms are in this house? Go ahead and comment down below. What do you think a 30,000 square foot house, how many bedrooms do you think we can find? We have no idea, so we're gonna go on a search and see what we can find. One, and I should mention that I was told that every bedroom has a full bath, including this one that has real gold. Everything actually is real gold inlays. Not bad. Two. Three. It's a long hallway. And we found number four. I found my bed. Did you find your bed? <laughs> That's a mighty big painting. <laughs> so this really isn't a bedroom, but it's, I don't, it's crazy room though. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. About a half million dollar staircase. A big bathroom, with a nice big shower, which means there's gotta be a bedroom. Ah, here we go. That's number five. Five bedrooms so far. And I'm kind of lost down here, so I don't know how many we're gonna find. That's number six. There's bathroom, which bathroom. means there's another bedroom somewhere. Look at these showers are so nice. Aha! Another little sitting area slash bedroom. And <laughs> that would be number seven. Look at that clock. Can I open this door? Ah, it's a furnace room. Okay, so what we have here is a hallway of art. Lots of crazy art. And my understanding is, is that there's somewhere in the neighborhood of two to three million dollars worth of art hanging on the walls here. I'm really not sure what whose art this is, but apparently, ooh, that one's creepy. <laughs> you see that? Oh, this one's kind of cool. So is that one. Ooh, there's a snake. I found a snake. And lizard. Monkeys. Baby Jesus. There's a baby Jesus. This one's like, speaks to me. It says Monday. That's called too many bottles of wine for Lori. <laughs> Sleeping in the corner, throwing up. Ooh, this one's crazy. Wow, that's deep. I find this pretty interesting because anyone that has a house or an apartment knows what an electrical box looks like. Well, a normal electrical box, but not one of these. Look at this. Look at the size of this electrical box right here. Look at the size of this breaker. 
It's bigger than my hand. Normally the breakers are like little click, click, click. And I guess he has like five of these in the house. It's crazy. The master bedroom. What? Look at this place. <laughs> look at this place. This is number eight. Oh, look at what. Lori, look who's on the bed already. All right, guys, so this is number eight. This is the master where we'll be staying tonight, obviously. We got a jacuzzi, tub, TV. Let's see what we got here. Chandelier. We got a little sitting area or dressing room for the ladies. We have, oh, let's see. We have a big walk-in closet. We have master bath for guys with a urinal. Oh boy. <laughs> we got one, two, three shower heads. I think I'm gonna be taking a shower later, Lori. And then we have a woman's bathroom. Look at this. It's fancy. This could be a bedroom. Yeah, this could be a bedroom, but it's actually just a closet. And Oh, well, look at it. We got a drinking fountain. I think it's his and hers toilets. His and hers toilets? <laughs> With a <the> bidet? <laughs> Alright, so guys, I don't know for sure that we hit all of them, but I think there's eight bedrooms. But I, if I'm guessing, we missed a bedroom or two. I think you're right. Because there's just no way to, there's no way to know. I, I, it's just so big. Like, it's you crazy. Get turned <laughs> yeah, 30,000 square foot. It's impossible. All right, so there's the bedrooms. Let's see what else we've got. Got to have a dining room. In houses like this, you always have to have a secret door. Look at this. This is the one door he showed me before he left. Oh, look, it's a closet. Or is it? Boom! The basement. Imported Italian marble walls. Look at this. We have a bar. What would you like to drink? I actually only have used sun kiss. Is that good enough? It'll work. <laughs> Not a bad little study. What do you think, Lori? Oh, this would be wonderful. Okay, and this, of course, is the foyer, which has, I don't know, like 30 foot ceilings in it. And of course, the opulent stairway. Lori? Yes. Would you like to join me for a spot of tea? <laughs> we got more bedrooms? Another bedroom. Hey, we got more bedrooms. No, we already did this oh. bedroom. This is like, well first, there's a nice little kitchenette area over here. And this is just a sitting room. It's absolutely gorgeous. Lots of places to sit. Look at this. His and her, I don't know, maybe 70 inch TVs or more. I'm not even sure what they are. They're absolutely huge. Lori can sit over there and she can watch some TV and I can sit over here and I can watch whatever TV I want. Not a bad place to unwind at the end of a long day, I would say. I'm going to say we definitely need to implement this in our house. This? We need two 70-inch TVs in our living room. I'm liking the way Lori thinks. Gold-plated pig. I'm not even sure what this is. There's even gold on the toilet. I'm not even sure how big this TV is. I don't know, maybe 80 inches. It's huge. That pool is so cold. 
but that was a lot of fun. And this hot tub feels so good right now, you'd have no idea. I tell you, I could live in the lap of luxury a little bit. What do you think? Yeah, this is nice. Oh my gosh, to come home each night to this. I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon, but hey, for a couple nights, this is pretty epic. For now, I'm just gonna chill in the hot tub for a little while. So if you guys have ever wondered what it's like to stay in a 10 plus million dollar house, now you know, or at least this house, I'm sure there's other differences in other ones. Regardless, it's been an amazing time and this place is so cool and I know Lori has enjoyed it as much as I have. I'm gonna hate to go back home to be honest with you, but I hope you guys enjoyed this journey along with us. As always guys, have a wonderful day, make sure to be kind to somebody and I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow.